Hello friends. The topic under discussion today is link state routing protocol. We will discuss about link state routing protocols, their types, their merits, demerits, link state routing algorithm and some important points about LS routing protocols. So let's start. Link state routing protocols fall under the category of IGP which are interior gateway protocols. There are two important types of link state routing protocols which are OSPF and ISIS. OSPF being the most common. Link state routing protocols use SPF or Dijkstra's algorithm for best path selection using SPF tree methodology. Link state routing means telling the whole world about your neighbors. The link state routing protocols include OSPF, ISIS, which are two OSI and IP protocols, then NLSP, DNA phase 5, and so on. But the most common link state routing protocols are ISIS and OSPF, OSPF being the first in preference. In link state routing protocols, Every node constructs a map of the connectivity to the network in the form of a graph showing which nodes are connected to which other nodes. Each node then independently calculates the next best logical path from it to every possible destination in the whole network. The collection of best paths will then form the router's routing table. Link state routing protocols have some terms related to them which are important to understand their methodology and way of working. These are listed here. For example, LSA is the link state advertisement. It is a small packet of routing information that is shared between routers running link state routing protocol. LSDB is a topological database and a collection of information gathered from the LSAs. LSP is a packet of information generated by a network router in a link state routing protocol that lists the router's neighbors. DBD is the initial packet during adjacency building which describes the contents of the topological database. They do not include full routing table, they include LSA headers only. And there are LSRs. Link state requests are the packet to request the pieces of information from the neighbor's database that are more up to date. Link state updates are the packets that contain fully detailed LSAs typically sent in response to an LSR message. And then finally, there are some acknowledgements to confirm the receipt of an LSAU message. We will discuss all of these in detail in the OSPF post. State routing protocols use SPF or Dijkstra's algorithm for best path selection. This algorithm works in five steps. In the first step, each device looks around it on all of its interfaces and makes a list of its neighbors. Then each device shares this information in the link state advertisement. Each device periodically sends a short message to distribute the information which it has collected and is called as link state advertisement. This information is also sent in case of network changes. So we have periodic and triggered updates. Finally, with the complete set of link state advertisements in hand, each node creates the graph for the map of the network. Each node independently runs an algorithm over the map to determine the shortest path from itself to every node in the whole network. Lastly, after the shortest path calculations, every router builds its routing table. So this is the whole process of shortest path calculation, SPF or Dijkstra's algorithm. Please follow my ATAC website for related detail, cheat sheets, interview questions and answers, quizzes and many other useful resources on the same topic. Just browse to orum.com slash ATAC and point to the relevant section. All links are given in the description of this video as well. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Facebook page for more and updated videos.